Hey guys, today is we're doing a Minecraft tutorial about what 10 tips you need to know when you're first starting out Minecraft. My name is Sneaky Fox, and let's get right into it. Tip number one. When you first start in the world, it's pretty obvious for um, experienced players. But when you're first starting out, you always have to punch wood. You keep punching it until you have plenty of wood to make crafting table, tools, and stuff like that. So once you have enough wood, you're going to want to have to make a crafting table. First, well, first oak planks, obviously. And then with oak planks, you want to make a crafting table. Once you have made a crafting table, you're going to want to start out with some tools. Including a pickaxe, a sword, and maybe eventually... A shovel or maybe a hoe. So once you have done that, you want to get down and get some stone as soon as possible. Because although wood tools are good, you want to get an upgrade as fast as possible. Which usually means digging down like this. Oh, there's some coal, but we don't want coal right now. We don't have the tools to mine coal. And we fell, fell into a cave. So once you have the stone, you want to get a good bit of it, maybe 20. Now that you have those stone, now you have that stone, you want to make more sticks and start on stone tools, especially swords. Swords are very important early on. Now you have stone pickaxe, and you can make more stone pickaxe. You probably will need more. Maybe even, you might want an axe. With those stone tools, you want to start out and get a base as soon as possible. Once you have some tools to mine with, you now want to probably build a base like this, where I have this little cut in place into a stone hill. And you come in here, and it's just a simple little base right here. Torch, which with coal and sticks. Chests with some useful stuff, which I've been gathering for a while. Some furnaces. And a crafting table. This next tip goes along with the base, which, when I said my base inside a mountain, you usually want it to be near the spawn, close enough to the spawn, at least, because um, these things happen. You could run into some zombies or creepers or skeletons and just die, not have a bed yet, or have the bed moved or something, because you want to move it. It's happened to me a lot of times, where I've destroyed a bed, moved it, and forgot to sleep in it, so then you just spawn in the spawn point. So you might want to spawn. You might want to have your base near your spawn point. Tip number five. We're halfway there. Now that you have your little base, you might want to start a mine like I have right here. Mines are very important because that's how you get stone, obviously, but you won't really need much stone unless you're building a base or something. Um, iron. Iron. It, that's very, very important. Iron. Iron. And so then, also, when you, mine, when you have a mine, you want diamonds. Diamonds are the best resource in the game, basically. But they're very, very, very hard to find. But the best way to find them is to mine on Y12. Basically, Y, X, and X, Y, and Z are the coordinates of every where you are in every Minecraft world. Press F3 if you're on computer, or the setting in console edition. And you'll see this screen if you're on... If you're on uh, computer, you'll see the screen. On console, you'll just see the coordinates. The coordinates are right there. X, Y, Z, middle left of the screen. There's the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, and the Z coordinate. If you mine on Y coordinate, that's where you find Y12 coordinate. That is where you find diamonds. And you never know. If you mine a little bit, probably won't even take very long. Just mine a little bit, you may find some diamonds. Tip number seven. This one's pretty important, but once you have a lot of resources for mining, like I do right here, you want to have some proper storage system. Sure, there's this chest, but it doesn't have much. Whereas if you build something like I have right here, you have to have blocks above chest, by the way. No blocks above chest, by the way, unless then they won't open. If you have a block, say, here, won't open. So why you gotta make sure you don't have any blocks above chest, except for chests or stairs or slabs. I think slabs. Anyways, you gotta have a proper storage system with something like this. Three double chests is plenty of room for most of your stuff. 
Okay, now we're on the next tip. For this tip, you probably, when you mine a lot, you go, want, probably get iron or stuff like that. You want to smelt. An easy way to do this is something called a super smelter, which is what I have. Two different super smelters. They're very easy to make. And it really just helps. You see this? There's hoppers beneath it that go in the chest. And there's hoppers above this that go in that chest. Or the same for this one. So let's say there's some blocks of coal in here. Put the coal in beforehand or you can add an aspect of that. It's harder, but you can do that. Um, let's say you just want to smelt some cobblestone. Make it into stone. See, so you put it in there, and it's already going. It's going twice as fast, actually. And you don't, and you can AFK there and wait for it. See, it's already coming. It's pretty fast, actually. Say so you want to do this one too. Just that. It'll be coming out soon. So that's tip number eight. Welcome back. Now that we're back, and this is tip number nine, second last one. Now, um, tip number nine: make a better base. This base looks a lot better than a hole just in a hill like it was before. It's kind of cool, actually. I mean, I, I like the glass. It's a good addition. Come in here. You have this. The super smelter. It's been going. I have a bunch of stone from it. Been working on a few things. Like this, for instance. Adding a little bit here and there. I like it. You come through here. Here's a little observatory. Little room thingy. Right here, you can look outside. There's a path out here using a shovel. That's how you do that. Left, your, left, right, I don't know. Using a shovel. And it's nice. I mean, the mine's been going pretty well. Everything is pretty nice. The flowers have been growing. Everything's pretty nice. And so that leads me to tip number 10. The last tip. Minecraft is an infinite world. With endless possibilities, endless things you can build, including redstone, which is what we'll get that on. Like we'll get on that later if you don't know what that is, including redstone and other stuff. Minecraft, you can do basically anything you want. It's awesome. So in your world, I want you to now test it out, go around, explore. You're no longer a beginner if you finished all of this. You you now you're an amateur, which isn't that big of a step up. But you can get better. You just keep working at it, and you'll get better. And, and Minecraft is big, and it's waiting out there for you.